What I've done here is I've primed all of the bare metal. Anything that I exposed from scraping or removing of panels. I've wire reeled off the rust. I've used a rust converter and now I've primed it. The products that I used were this Rust-Oleum Professional Primer and I also use this high performance metal primer. I use a brush on the places that I couldn't spray because I would have hit the windows. Before I'm gonna paint this, I just have some small holes to fill. Pretty small. Tripolymer elastomeric sealant. Now I think it's time to start with the outside. We've got a bunch of leaking on the tops of these windows on both sides. My first suspect is this drip rail. This drip rail just seems to be like a really bad design. Look at that transition. There's a big gap right there. You can see a long time ago they had this silicone. Seems like the only thing about this bus doesn't make any sense. Look, it's, it's like coming off. I'm pretty sure that when I take this off, I'm gonna find probably some rust behind this. Hopefully it'll be our only problem, but that is wishful thinking. Eventually that's gonna go through and I'll pop it off with a hammer. A little bit of mildew and there's two screws missing from this window. And there's rust. And I guess the big thing is that like, I've gotta get these windows screwed back in so that they don't leak. I cleaned these with an angle grinder and a brush attachment. So I bought this Osfo rust converter Stops rust. Paint that on with a paintbrush. Let it cure for 24 hours. Come back, wipe off any chalky residue, and you can paint it. So we're gonna do this for all the rusty spots where the drip rail was. Back here is the worst of it, and that's because somebody used silicone to try and seal up the leaks. They probably went on top of the bus and shoved some silicone down there. This is a good example why you don't wanna use silicone on your bus conversion. Basically, silicone can get water trapped in it and behind it, and then instead of keeping water away from your vehicle, it's actually trapping it in there. That's what I think happened here. Maybe the surface wasn't perfectly prepared before the silicone was applied, and it got water behind it. Today is another day, so let's do something on the bus. Still playing with windows. Right here, I have the bottom bumper guard. I'm trying to expose the bumper guard so I can take it off, take off some of these windows, and see what they're like on the sides and the bottom. These have end caps that get screwed in, which I've removed. There's just two, one on this side and one all the way down there. And I took a wooden spoon from the kitchen and I pushed, and now I've been pulling it out kind of gently and firmly at the same time. Meanwhile, once I get to here, I'm gonna take off some window screws so I can take out this window and see what's up. If you're driving 60 miles down the road and it's raining, this is what's happening to your window. Water just pouring in down there. Oh my God. There it is. Yep, leaking. That's enough evidence for me that every window needs to come out. I've really got to remove and reseal all these windows because this is gonna be our house. You can't have a leaking driving house. You guys saw my leak test, it's bad. So now that I'm on window number three, I thought I would show you my process. This is a chisel. These ones were a gift for my wife. They're probably pretty expensive. I would recommend you get a cheaper chisel to do this with. As you can see, there's a little bit left in, in here. So I come back and I do the detail work. It's very tedious. 
And that's basically the window process. Some of the sealant stays on the bus. So I scrape it off. Oh, well that's nice. I scrape it off with this chisel. And then there's a remainder. Now once I get it this far, I take this uh, wire brush attachment. By the way, I highly recommend that when you start this project, you just get a whole bunch of different wire wheel uh, grinder attachments, maybe a couple for your drill too. I kept being cheap and being like, ah, I'll just make it work with this one. It would be nice to have all of them. This is what I do. back to this angle grinder brush wheel. I just needed more like butt kicking and this thing kicks more butt. Yay, I got it done before dark. All the windows are out. Four of the windows are prepped. 10 of the windows are not prepped. All these surfaces are scraped free of adhesive, grinded free of flaky rust and just short of being washed with a wet rag and maybe some TSP, tri sodium phosphate, which is for cleaning surfaces. It's cleaning dirt and grease off of surfaces before painting. Uh, I should be able to paint this. Look at that, this bus is crazy. It's like all windows. It's a giant window. This is a rusty metal primer. We're gonna use this on the rusted areas. We're using drywall blades to protect surfaces as we spray. Also taking off this adhesive, which really nothing will adhere to. Apparently there's fish oil in here. It's not on the can. It doesn't say anything about not painting painted or clean metal surfaces. Apparently it doesn't adhere very well to already painted metal. I mean, look at that, I'm just scraping it off. That screws us pretty badly. My plan is to let it cure, well, at least as long as it wants to cure, which is 48 hours. The conditions for spraying this on were 50 degrees Fahrenheit or above, 65% humidity or below. We had 65% humidity and 50 degrees Fahrenheit, so we literally have the least ideal but still acceptable conditions for painting with this stuff. Not fun, extra work, not what I planned. Wished I had researched this primer more, but like I told you guys before, please don't follow anything that I do. Some of it I'm gonna get right, a lot of it I'm gonna get wrong. That's just that. I found my glasses. What happened was we found them at a thrift store and we brought them to the thrift store. No. We bought them from the thrift store. Val found them. Val found them at a thrift store and I got lenses put in them. Somebody called me Tweety Bird because I'm wearing Tweety Bird glasses. And they were right. But really, the story is I lost them a year ago. I put them in my jacket pocket. And now I found them. And an old pair of shoes on the side. 